I want to pray for you right now. I'm hearing the sound of chains. I'm not seeing it, but I'm hearing the sound of chains. And I have the ministration in my spirit that these chains represent yokes of delay, tying people down and will not let you go forward. I pray for you right now. Let that fire fall upon every individual and every family. My God, every chain that has kept you in the same position, right now in the name of Jesus and at the count of three, let that chain be broken. One, two, three, break now. Break now, break now, break now. Let that chain be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, all kinds of chains, anti-destiny spells, be broken now. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray. You have had a strange occurrence where demon spirits come to sleep between the night. They use the faces of individuals, male or female, it does not matter. When good things are about to happen, listen to me, then you go to bed in the night and that molestation happens. By the next day, the opportunity is just aborted. I pray for you now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit, anyone under the sound of my voice, and you are a victim of this demonic molestation, at the count of three, be released right now. One, two, three, be released right now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Mysterious dreams. Seeing yourself writing exams without passing. Seeing yourself in secondary schools. Homes and places that you left years ago. I tell you they have prophetic implications. By the God of heaven. Everything that connects you with yesterday. The curse of yesterday. The tragedy by God. Fire is falling. I decree right now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now! Be delivered now! We will sing hallelujah until you come again. I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the cost that is upon firstborns. Rebuke the curse that is upon my God. Fire is going to fall here now. If you are a firstborn, every curse, not allowing you to move forward, making your younger ones to go ahead of you by the apostolic and the prophetic, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Every curse of the firstborn, first male, first female, first child, tying your destiny down and will not let you move forward. This is koinonia. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Bring them out. My God. Yes, the world ah. will bow down and say you are God. Keep praying. Don't be silent. Every man Hallelujah. Do you know what God showed me that I started praying? God flashed the image of people and the various idols afflicting them. I just saw it upon their heads. I pray for you. Anything your forefathers worshipped that is affecting you now, especially if you were supposed to take over the priesthood, fire is coming upon you right now. Anyone who is a victim of the consequences of idolatry, shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Every idol, every altar, every enchantment, you come under fire now. You come under arrest now. The cause of idolatry. I'm still praying. The cause of idolatry. 
you may not have known they worship idols they kill children to service those altars and before those who died died they uttered curses and said it would not be well with your children i come by the prophetic anyone here who is a victim of the ill speakings of man consequences of idolatry right now be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered by mercy be delivered by grace be delivered by mercy there is a gentleman here please listen if it's not for you don't waste our time just sit back but there is a gentleman here you are supposed to be the direct person continuing the idolatry where you come from and you have rejected it and this thing you keep seeing these things in your dreams where is that person i want that person to come i presume there might be a number of them directly you know not assumption you are supposed to be the one to take over the helm of affairs as far as priesthood is concerned please if that gentleman is around whether inside or outside i want him to come out i want to pray for you there is a family that i'm seeing here I may not ask you to come out for space, but you are from Benway State. There is a mysterious altar God wants to pull down now. This thing has affected everybody in that family. Benway State. This is what God is ministering to me. Father, by the Spirit of God, you didn't come alone, no. It was a family. Nobody progresses in that family. No matter what happens. Educated but suffering as if you are uneducated. A name that is above all names. I say it by the Spirit of God. Receive it all. Every parasco parita barantasiata. Every pattern, repetitive negative cycles. Hear me. In the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of my covenant that if there be anything that is a pattern around your life, let that pattern be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. As you shout amen, let it be broken now. Yahweh Sabah, Yahweh Sabah, Yahweh Sabah, Yahweh. Ta da 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 da. patterns i've seen it all i've seen intelligent people your grandfather begged with phd the son begged with phd there are children they can school anywhere but the only way they live is by begging and they are not lazy and then if somebody emerges and is the one to wipe the tears of the family even an ordinary bike will kill that person any programming against your family in the name of jesus christ i call upon the god of heaven let let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now let the god of vengeance help this woman let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now Whatever you tolerate will keep growing in your life. Did you hear what I said? Hallelujah. There are people who never eat from their children. Please listen. I'm speaking to you prophetically now. They give birth to children. But even at 45, 30, 35, 55... Even at all those ages, listen to me, the children will have to eat from the parents. Have you seen people like that? Yes. Parents are retired, but from their gratuity. That's what they will carry to feed the man who has his wife and has the children. When I'm praying for patterns, if it does not concern you, no problem. You can keep your hands when I'm praying about what concerns you. But please, don't lose out this opportunity. For some of you, God has been showing you mercy. Again, I'm praying. 
everything that is not written in this scripture that is happening in your life and stopping your life from being an expression of God's grace in the name of Jesus we bury it this night we bury it this night we bury it this night for sake of time we can't have everybody come but the families from Benway State just lift your hands I don't care what the altar is called and I don't care how long it has stayed my God fire will fall on you as I'm praying for you now physically may something be happening in your village as I pray and anyone I remember I think it was was it that we're still in Zaria listen was it that we're still in Zaria or we had moved to Abuja one miracle service I was praying I remember and I, I think God brought a word of knowledge particularly concerning Benway now I have no prejudice for any state mine is to minister as the spirit of God leads but I remember seeing a tree and something tied on that tree one miracle service and I had a name called Aleku Aleku something Aleku or Aleku something like that and that is a vicious altar some kind of spirit that can make people's legs to swell till they die or make something happen to people I pray for you whether that concerns you or not in the name of Jesus I'm using Benway as a point of contact for every other place if there is any altar tagging you and not allowing you move I'm coming to pray for business people shortly but right now I break those covenants Listen, listen to me. I want you to trust what God is doing here. You will be surprised at what happens to you. Please don't feel bad, but God is giving me this word for a particular woman. About a month ago, your daughter died. I don't know if she's been buried or not, but God is saying I should pray for that one person. Your daughter, not your child. Your daughter died. You are the mother. You came here. I don't know whether you are old or young, but your daughter died. This was over a span of a month ago. If that person is here or outside, please let me have the person out. I will pray for you. But whilst we are waiting for that person, I want to minister Imo State. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing Imo State. Imo State. The spirit that makes only one person to rise, then the rest beg from that one person. This is what the Lord is telling me. Did you hear what I said? Only one person rises and the other people, they only live by begging that one person. It is not the way God helps believers. God's desire, yes, somebody can start, but eventually that people have their own standing too. Therefore, every spirit responsible for that satanic effect in emo state right now, be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Of your people. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Are you releasing your faith with me? Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Miracles of fruitfulness. Miracles of advancement. Miracles of restoration, miracles of strength, job opportunities, marital open doors, celebration of children, twins and triplets and quadruplets, opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires, restoration of marriages, restoration of sick people, some of you have lost money, you have lost opportunities, we command restoration. Strategic relationships that you have lost, may God restore. Koinonia shout Amen, may God restore. What happened to Esther that lifted her, may it happen to you. Ah, someone who has faith to believe. What happened to Esther that took her from Shushan to the palace? May it happen to you. 
What happened to Ruth? May it happen to you. What happened to Abraham that caused Abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources? May it happen to you. What happened to Gideon that empowered him to lead an army? May it happen to you. What happened to Lot on account of his connection with Abraham? May it happen to you. Anyone here appointed unto death that according to the plan of hell that this is your last miracle service that by the next one you would have been buried I cancel that statement we cancel that statement cancel that statement for you and your spouse canceled for you and your children canceled for you and your parents canceled Anyone here trusting God for a job, I bow my knees to the God of our Father and I pray for you in the name of Jesus. By next miracle service, return with your employment letter. And hear me, believe in prophecy. Anyone who has a job that is fighting your relationship with God, not allowing you go to church, not allowing you serve God, that the only way to remain in that job is to compromise. May God relocate you to another job. In the name of Jesus, Amen. there is a grace for influence and visibility. That grace can pick you from your room and can cause the nations to know you. We are privileged stewards of that grace. And in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I place that anointing on your life. Amen. Believe it, I place that anointing on your destiny. Strangers will look for you from across the nations of the earth may they find you they will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of Jesus anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach may my God by his hand upon your life may he vindicate you this season Koinonia, anyone called barren, prepare for your children coming. I say it again, anyone called barren, this is the year you carry your children. I feel led to pray for people who are trusting God for structural establishment. A house, a car, if you don't believe it, allow those who believe it to receive. But in the name of Jesus, for anyone trusting God for structural establishment in 30 days from now, in the name that is above all names, and I say this prophetically, may my God surprise you. Beyond your savings, beyond your current resources, may my God surprise you. Houses you did not build, vehicles you don't have the money to pay for let favor bring it to your doorstep hallelujah hear me you have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations but who to connect with may be what is missing i pray for you right now that gift stops being silent from today I decree and declare receive beauty for ashes it may not be as you expected but may it come in another form that still glorifies God in your life it may not be as you expected but I'm saying it again may it come in another form that still glorifies God receive beauty for ashes in your finances beauty for ashes in your marriage beauty for ashes in your spiritual life beauty for ashes over the testimony of your life beauty for ashes in the name of jesus christ i still pray that you will receive a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that you will be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified in your life 
everything that represents shame everything that represents hopelessness i pray for you let the balm in gilead bring you healing healing over death healing over tragedies healing over calamities healing over losses in the name of jesus for someone I speak to you prophetically, remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. I decree and declare, you open up your eyes and see, God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. For someone a new thing may mean a new job. For someone it may be another child to replace the one that died. For someone God will give you hope over a testimony you have lost. In the name of Jesus Christ every situation that can change health situation marriage situation job situation career situation in the name of jesus let water be turned to wine in the name of jesus let there be a solution now then the other set are those whose trees have become wood wood have become coals coals have become ashes there's no need water turning to wine i pray for you first and foremost the grace to be free from the grip of yesterday the grace to be free from the grip of yesterday i say it again the grace to be free from the grip of yesterday and father you have given me this message and i brought it to your people the grace that follows this message let it be deposited upon this teaching let it be deposited upon your people that everyone who listens to this teaching will find hope and for they who are the hearers like revelation says let them be blessed because their ears have heard this truth in the name of jesus the grace to walk in keeping with all the keys that i've shared and i pray that many of you will come to testify here that you gave up your ashes and in exchange you got beauty that will be your testimony this week i say it again that you gave up ashes and you received as a replacement beauty receive testimonies this week good news this week i say it again testimonies this week good news this week elevation this week may your hands hold good things may your ears hear good reports as you travel you are blessed you will rise with the speed of Daniel you will rise with the speed of Esther in the name of Jesus Christ the God that enthroned Joseph overnight the God that enthroned Daniel overnight the God that promoted Shadrach Meshach and Abednego in Babylon the God that promoted a village girl called Hadassah that she became queen overnight. The God that took Gideon, a young man in hiding. The God that took Ruth, lost everything in her life. And in one moment, I'm praying for you, there is governmental authority. There is grace that enthrones men to be gatekeepers, captains of industry, leaders in their field. I say it again, may that grace rest upon you. May it rest upon you. A king maker anointing, may it rest upon you. For some of you, it will be like a dream. They will make you a director in your place of work. I say it by the power that raised Christ from the dead. It will be like a dream. My God will exalt you. It will be like a dream. My God will surprise you. It will be like a dream. My God will lift you. You will occupy strategic business positions. Strategic political positions. Strategic organizational positions. Strategic ministerial positions. In the name of Jesus. And hear me there are powers that fight influence i pray for you every power that wants to fight your relevance that it will be said you were once great yesterday 
and that greatness has diminished he said thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side he said the Lord increase you more and more you and your children I speak it over you increase your influence will not go down Ichabod would not be a language used for you in the name of Jesus Christ please stretch your hands over these prayers and begin to pray in the spirit stretch your hands pray in the spirit oh rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me pray I'm going to kneel for one minute and lay my hands on your request. It's not a ritual. Pray. Something is happening to you. Honestly. Hold on, please. Hold on, guys. Just one minute. I know we are praying, but this prayer I just prayed for you now, God has not finished doing the work on someone. I'm saying it again. A kingmaker anointing. Listen. Young people with strange influence strange influence strange influence hear me commanders of territories as young people commanders of territories commanders of resources captains of industry I prophesy to you from the spirit of grace I know what it means to be lifted by God may the lifter of men lift you he will make your voice heard that grace for influence, let it rest on you. Influence. Influence. Is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance? God can anoint men to be captains over his inheritance. Stretch your hands and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, we decree and declare, these are the prayers of your people. The Bible says, unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I decree and I declare right now, in the name of Jesus, are you releasing your faith? That every request here written, let it be turned to a testimony. A believer's amen. Every request here written, I bow my knees and I decree and declare, let it be turned to a testimony. Yeah. Esther chapter 2 and verse 8. The Bible says, Esther chapter 2 and verse 8. Please quickly, media. Esther chapter 2 and verse 8. It came to pass at the king's commandment and, it, and when the decree was heard, many young girls were gathered together unto Shushan, the palace, and they had the custody of Haggai, the keeper of the king's women. Verse 9, the Bible says, And Esther, the maiden, pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him. What was the result? He speedily gave her the things that she needed. I sense that the grace for speed for many people here you see let me tell you this it is important for answers to come early answers can come late he says satisfy me early with your mercy there is timing to things you are trusting god for resources it needs to come early it's not when you die that it comes i pray for you everything making your answers crawl to you i declare speed right now speed right now Speed right now. Speed right now. Speed right now. Speed right now. Marital speed right now. Speed in giving birth to children right now. Financial speed right now. Ministerial speed right now. Speed in establishment. In the name of Jesus Christ. I taught you while giving you the charge that the delivery system of every answered prayer are men. Men ordained by God to serve as priests and destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus, every request here that needs a man to show up for you, 
wherever they are in this nation or across the globe the same way metals come to a magnet I declare that they gravitate towards you the same way metals come to a magnet no matter where the metal is when you pass a magnet the metal looks for it may the helpers of your destiny find you may the helpers of your destiny bless you may the helpers of your destiny lift you in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare to you standing on this request these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus the son of the living God may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever now receive this prophetic word what you could not accomplish from January to June in the month of July I stand by the God who sent me let the one month be like one year let the one month be like one year businessman hear me let the one month be like one year let the one month be like one year in the name of Jesus number two everywhere you have been forgotten the Bible says where you have been forgotten so that no man will remember you you become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of Jesus let the book of remembrance be open now open now do you know the brothers of Joseph themselves thought he was dead they lied to the father that he had died but they themselves imagined that because they had not seen him in a long time he is dead the same way you think you have not seen certain results you think it is over you don't know that Joseph is becoming king somewhere I'm praying for you the Joseph that needs to connect with you by the power of the Holy Spirit let that encounter happen speedily it was hunger that took the brothers of Joseph to Egypt but when they encountered Joseph they were not only fed he said call my father and come they lived in Egypt in royalty I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Spirit you may be looking for a job but may God give you beyond the job strategic connections in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I don't believe in poverty so I'm going to speak over your life I hate poverty it is not of God it's of the devil it strips men of their dignity I pray for you the spirit that keeps men poor affecting your productivity affecting direction and affecting capacity I decree and declare that spirit is banished from your life I decree upon you the power to prosper the power to prosper by favor the power to prosper by wisdom the power to prosper by value the power to prosper by relationships in the name of Jesus every business here that is dead or dying hear the word of the Lord jack back to life now jack back to life now jack back to life now anybody who is doing any construction project and it has marked time you are not able to build it to completion let me speak to you the hand of Zerubbabel that started that work may that same hand complete it may that same hand complete it may that same hand complete it now hear me you paid the price to live everywhere you left to come here I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus before you get home I cry unto the God of my covenant may a, may a, a, a boat sinking miracle be waiting for you at home a boat sinking miracle let it wait for you at home I say it again a boat sinking miracle let it wait for you at home listen we're wrapping up I've taught you that who hates you does not matter but who likes you in this kingdom matters the person who needs to like you enough to turn shame to joy I'm praying for you listen I prayed that prayer maybe I should wrap up with this prayer you can be gifted but if you are serving a wrong audience 
it is painful to serve people who don't understand your value they will abuse what you carry when god wants to show you mercy he changes your audience he brings you in the midst of those who have the value joseph interpreted the baker's dream he remained in the prison he interpreted the wine presser's dream he remained in the prison but when he interpreted the king's dream same gift i pray for you you have been wasting your productivity on people who don't have the discernment nor the resources to honor you may my god change your audience may my god bring you to men and women who have an appreciation for what you carry in the name of jesus who am i prophesying to in the name of jesus i decree and declare i call upon he who has the key of david the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door every door that has been closed over your career over your life over your destiny i declare a father be open 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 be open be open doors of strategic relationships be open doors of strategic finances be open the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places be open doors of career be open doors of destiny help us be open in the name of jesus someone shout open shout open shout open shout open listen to me please don't be distracted something is happening in this place look at me every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit just because you are there does not mean the gates are open now you see if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states you will see like city gates am i right on that sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open listen i have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land it is only strangers that eat of it i have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land it is strangers that eat of it we are going to pray that prayer there's an anointing on these open doors open God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit. Ten years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say Father. Shout it. Say Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray. Be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door. Strategic doors. Relational doors. Financial doors. Spiritual doors. Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. 
open of your own accord open unto me open for a new season open for greater influence open for greater kingdom impact all doors open strategic doors open relational doors open in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray be seated for one minute be seated for one minute my God fire is burning in this place be seated in this place this testimony of open doors you will see how many people will come and stand here <laughs> hallelujah let me tell you what happens when a door opens there is no restraint again an open door means access to the next level all the rooms in a house are separated by doors just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house you can be in the living room but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed and if it does not open when you are hungry you will be in the house and be dying of hunger the door to the restroom can be closed when you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open it brings discomfort hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now whilst you are seated whilst you are seated whilst you are seated I want to make a declaration this is not just for individuals all these people are representing families I'm seeing in the spirit families tied down by chains doors that have closed over them this is what God is revealing to me I want you to bring them out every family here not just you are individuals but you are representing families no one has been able to go forward there is an embargo that has sat upon families in the name of Jesus Christ I call upon El Shaddai I call upon the warrior whilst you are seated anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down tied your family down right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost let it descend upon that family now let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God, in the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline, in the name that is above all names. I say it again, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. You and your family, be delivered now. I am confident that the sermons you've immersed yourself in have served as a wellspring of blessings, uplifting your life and instilling a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a warm invitation for you to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. By activating the notification bell, you ensure that you remain connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos. Your subscription signifies more than a mere click. It represents a pledge to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aspires to be a haven for both spiritual seekers and devoted believers. We ardently believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our objective is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and allow the radiant light of divine wisdom to illuminate your path. We express our gratitude for your integral role in this uplifting journey, and we pray that God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. Stay connected with us on all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and feel free to explore our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God abundantly bless you.